Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the second part of the photoelectric effect. In previous uh, video lecture, we have discussed or we have reviewed the electromagnetic spectrum and the Planck's black body radiation spectrum. After that, we discussed the uh, what is the photoelectric effect and uh, what is the work function. In today's video lecture, we are going to see more details of the or uh, more results of the photoelectric effect. So, if you look at the our outline of the talk, we will see the what is the phenomena of the photoelectric effect and what are the results of the photoelectric effect. Okay. So, as we discussed whenever you shine a light of suitable frequency, electrons are rejected from the metal surface. Okay. So, whenever you shine a suitable frequency of the light, electrons are ejected immediately or spontaneously there is no time lag there is no time lag means there is no time gap between the shining of the light and ejection of the electrons when uh, uh, when you shine a suitable frequency of light immediately electrons are ejected from the metal surface this is the main observation of the photoelectric effect the second observation of the photoelectric effect is that the ejected electrons kinetic energy the ejected electrons kinetic energy depends on the frequency of the incident radiation the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons does not depends on the intensity of the light here you can see the ejected electrons kinetic energy depends on the frequency of the incident light and it does not depends on the intensity of the light this is the most important point in the photoelectric effect why it is most important we will see in the next slides okay the third important observation is that only the suitable frequencies will show the photoelectric effect it means there is a presence of cutoff frequency it means with the all the frequencies of the light we cannot see the photoelectric effect we can see only some suitable fre uh, frequencies show the photoelectric effect so that's why there is a cutoff cutoff frequency is there okay so these are the three main observation one is that there is no time lag uh, 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 time lag between the shining of the light and ejection of the electrons. Second thing is that uh, ejected electrons kinetic energy depends on the frequency of the incident light. Uh, it does not depends on the intensity of the light. And the third one, there is a cutoff frequency. Is there if you shine a light of frequencies greater than this cutoff frequency, those frequencies only show the photoelectric effect. And the frequencies below this cutoff frequency does not show the photoelectric effect these are the three main important observations of the photoelectric effect okay now in 1902 philip lenard he was trying to explain these experimental observations these observations with the wave model of the light classical wave model of the light according to the classical wave model of light energy energy is distributed uniformly distributed across the wave front energy is distributed across the wave front, wave front. energy is not concentrated in a particular location energy is distributed all over the wave front so it means that it means that uh, uh, energy is directly proportional to the intensity of the light it means that energy of the uh, wave wave energy of the light is directly proportional to the intensity of the light but intensity means kinetic energy of the emitted electrons it means that kinetic energy of the emitted electrons must depends on the intensity but this is not happening in the photoelectric effect because the kinetic energy of the emitted electron depends on the frequency of the incident light. Okay, so that's why with this theory he could not explain why it is happening. Okay, in second part, since the energy is depends on the intensity, if you shine a low intensity, okay, if you shine a low intensity of light on a metal surface, the electrons takes a longer time to come out of the 
metal surface because the there is a work function is there once you shine a suitable frequency of or suitable energy of photons then only electrons will come out of the metal surface but you are shining a low intensity uh, light so what is happening electrons will absorb the or accumulate the energy once they reach the uh, sufficient energy then only electrons will come out of the metal surface but here you can see in reality in the photoelectric effect what is happening electrons are coming immediately out of the metal surface spontaneous it is spontaneous there is no time lag between the shining of the light and the emission of the electrons so this was not explained by the a classical uh, wave model of the light and the third one what it was uh, in third case what they are saying is that any frequency of light any frequency of light must eject the electrons means there is no restriction on the frequency but in reality in the photoelectric effect observation there is a restriction is there only suitable frequency of light will show the photoelectric effect but according to classical what they are saying that any frequency of light must show the photoelectric effect but this is not the case in the photoelectric effect that we can see in the uh, third point in uh, whatever we discussed in the previous slides then einstein came up with the idea of the planck's uh, uh, black body radiation so what the planck says that electromagnetic spectrum consists of uh, uh, packets of energies these packets of energies we called as a quanta or photons then uh, what the einstein uh, proposed is that electromagnetic wave energy is concentrated in photons so whatever he said is uh, according to the planck's statement and and once since the energy is concentrated in the photons so the electrons absorb these photons immediately they come out of the material so therefore there is no time delay in emission of the photoelectrons means there is no time delay so immediately whenever you shine a light on the metal surface electrons are coming out of the metal surface so this one is okay because the energy is concentrated in the photons the second point <coughs> all the photons of frequency nu have the same energy so changing the intensity does not have any effect on the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons it means that kinetic energy of the electrons does depends on the frequency depends on the frequency of the incident light means kinetic energy of the light does not depend on the intensity of the light so whenever you shine a frequency of bright light will have the same kinetic energy if you shine a same frequency of with the low intensity will have the same kinetic energy okay irrespective of the intensity irrespective of the intensity the kinetic energy is same for a given frequency of light okay now in this third case higher is the frequency greater will be the kinetic energy yes so what happens so if the frequency is more if the energy is more frequency is more like a uh, violet and uh, green and uh, the red red frequency uh, violet frequency is greater than the green green frequency is greater than the red so what is uh, if the frequency is more kinetic energy will be more as per this observation okay so these are the three uh, hypotheses of the einstein so from the einstein hypothesis we can uh, calculate the uh, kinetic energy of a ejected electrons so what he said is that the incident photon kinetic energy h nu equal to the work function of the material plus kinetic energy of the ejected electrons means whenever you shine a whenever you shine a, here you can see the uh, incident photon energy is less than the work function of this material so we cannot see the photoelectric effect but here in the case of the green light so the uh, photo electrons uh, photon energy is 2.25 electron volts so we can see the photoelectric effect and remaining energy is converted into the kinetic energy of the photo electrons in third case the incident photon energy is 3.1 electrons 
So two two uh, in three point one electron volts, two electron is utilized for the work function of the material, means to eject the electron from the metal surface. Remaining one point one electron volts converted as a kinetic energy of the electron. So whatever the light you are shining, some amount is utilized for the work function, or some amount of it is utilized for to remove the electron from the metal surface. Remaining energy is utilized for the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons so here you can see in the previous slide in previous lectures work function is nothing but a h nu not or h nu not th anything is okay okay some uh, text we will write it as a nu not or nu th it means that threshold frequency or minimum frequency work function is nothing but a h times of planck's constant multiplied with the threshold frequency plus kinetic energy of the ejected electrons so here you can what we want the kinetic energy of the electrons right so you uh, bring the kinetic energy of the electrons on left side and take this one to the right side then take out the h as a common then you will end up with the this is the incident photon energy free incident uh, incident of photon frequency and the uh, this is the minimum frequency of the uh, metal surface or work function of the metal surface okay so k is the kinetic energy associated with the ejected electrons okay so in this lecture we have seen the uh, we have derived the equation for the kinetic energy uh, we have uh, kinetic energy is equal to the h times of the incident photon minus the threshold frequency means we can cal calculate the kinetic energy of the uh, ejected electrons and we have also seen the Linard, uh, the classical way of explaining the uh, photoelectric effect. And the, we have seen the hypothesis made by the Einstein to explain the photoelectric effect. And we have also observed the three main important observations of the photoelectric effect. One is that there is no time lag between the shining of the light and ejection of the electron. The second thing is that the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons depends on the frequency of the uh, incident uh, photon. And the third one is that uh, there is a cutoff frequency means all the frequencies does not show the photoelectric effects. So, so this is all uh, for today. In the next class, we will see the uh, experimental arrangement of the photoelectric effects and the characteristics of the photoelectric effects. Thank you.